My name is Elias Loban. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called trustedcoins.com. There you have access to over 6,800 items that I have at the time of the film making of this film. Every item I sell comes complete with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, a certificate of authenticity, and my signature. I've identified over 20,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. Every coin comes in a beautiful flip that protects it from wear and tear with a miniaturized description of the professional description that's on the certificate with a number that matches the certificate so if you take this separately and let's say carry it around in your wallet or put it away somewhere safe you have the certificate, the documentation which includes a professionally done description many times citing a major reference or collection and on the back you get the historical context of the item you have purchased so the benefits of this, this makes a fantastic gift because more, it's very unique, it has, I have such a big variety of these things and also to the best of my belief it's a, the, one of the greatest investments out there. I don't know what else is better so I would say the greatest in my opinion but you know you can um, check it out for yourself at trustedcoins.com. Thank you. Now I'm going to be reading the history of Roman Emperor Constantius II. I have many coins of this Roman Emperor, specifically Constantius II, in my store. This is what he looked like. That's his bust. Okay. Now for his biography. So check out my store for those uh, coins. Constantius II was Roman Emperor from 337 to 361 AD. The second son of Constantine the Great and Fausta. He ascended to the throne with his brothers Constantine II and Constance upon his father's death. In 340, Constantius' brothers clashed over the western provinces of the empire. In a conflict, Constantine II was killed and Constance became ruler of the west until he was overthrown and assassinated in 350 by the usurper Magnentius. Unwilling to accept Magdentius as co-ruler, Constantius marched against him. Magdentius was defeated in the battles of, at the battles of Mursa Major and Mons Seleucus, committing suicide after the latter. This left Constantius as sole ruler of the empire. His subsequent military campaigns against the Germanic tribes were successful. He defeated the Alemanni in 354 AD and campaigned across the Danube against the Quadi and the Sarmatians in 357. In 336, religious unrest in Armenia and tense relations between Constantine II and King Shapur II caused the war to break out between Rome and Sassanid Persia. Constantine II fell ill and sent Constantius east to take command of the eastern frontier. Before Constantius II arrived, the Persian general Narses, who, had, who was possibly the king's brother, overran Mesopotamia and captured Amida. Constantius promptly attacked Narses and defeated and killed Narses at the Battle of Narasara. He built a new city naming it Antinopolis. In early 337, Constantius hurried to Constantinople after receiving news that his father was near death. After Constantine the Great died, Constanti Constantius buried his father with a lavish ceremony in the Church of the Holy Apostles. After Constantius hurried east to Antioch to resume the war with Persia, while Constantius was away from the eastern frontier in early 337, Shapur assembled a large army including war elephants, launched an attack on Roman territory, laying waste to Mesopotamia. Constantius prepared his army for a counter-attack. The Romans won a decisive victory at the Battle of Narasara, killing Shapur's brother, Narses. Constantius elevated his cousin Constantius Gall Gallus to Caesar of the eastern provinces. As an extra measure to ensure the loyalty of his cousin, he married the elder of his two sisters, Constantina, to him. Constantius then promoted Gallus' younger half-brother Julian, who was Constantius' last surviving cousin and the man who would ultimately succeed him in 355. Before facing Magnentius, Constantius 
first came to terms with Vitranio, a loyal general in Illyricum who had, who had recently been acclaimed emperor by his soldiers. Vitranio immediately sent letters to Constantius pledging his loyalty, which Constantius may have accepted simply in order to stop Magnentius from gaining more support. Constantius subsequently sent Vitranio the imperial diadem and acknowledged the general's new position as Augustus. Vitranio willingly resigned his position and accepted Constantius' offer of a comfortable retirement in Bithynia. By the time Constantius reached Mapsuestia in Cilicia, he fatally he was fatally ill. He had himself baptized by Eusois, the semi-Arian bishop of Antioch, and then declared that Julian was his rightful successor. Constantius II died of fever, 3rd of November, 361 AD. So in order to buy the coins, research more and, um, yeah, just learn more and buy coins. TrustedCoins.com is the best place to go.